All right, so blockchain, everybody's talking about it, but like, what is it really beyond the hype? You know, right? You sent me some really interesting stuff. Looks like we've got like a blockchain 101 guide here. Yeah, definitely a good place to start. Okay, so it starts with this whole like shared notebook analogy everyone can write in. It can't erase anything, which, okay, fine, but like, isn't that just a Google Doc? Well, you're right. It's not JST about sharing, it's about what makes that record unchangeable. Okay, so how's blockchain different? Think about it this way. With a Google Doc, someone can sneak in, change something. Even if there's a timestamp, blockchain's different. So we're talking about a permanent record, but like, how do you actually make that happen digitally? Well, the source breaks it down into three main things. Mm -hmm. Data, this thing called a hash, and then a previous hash. Okay, so data, that makes sense. That's like the actual information, right? Exactly. Whatever's being stored. But what's a hash then? Imagine like a fingerprint, but for digital information. Okay. Every block of data on the blockchain gets its own unique hash. And here's the key. Even a tiny change, like one character totally changes that fingerprint. So you're saying it's like a built-in alarm system? Exactly. Tamper with the data. The hash is going to show it. Whoa, okay. And that's where the previous hash comes in each block. Mm -hmm. It doesn't just have its own hash. It also has the hash of the block that came before it. So it's like a chain, each link is tamper-proof. Exactly. You try to change something in an old block, you're breaking the whole chain. Yeah. Okay, so no rewriting history on the blockchain. Got it. Right. But who's keeping track of this massive chain who's in charge? Right, like it's a chain. Okay, but who's the chain gang? Is there some big tech company calling the shots or? Actually, that's the cool part. There isn't. No one's in charge. Nope. This is where we get into decentralization. Okay, yeah, the source mentioned that is a big deal. Huge. Instead of like one bank or government running the show, it's spread out across computers all over the world. So it's like a global network. Everyone's got a copy of this blockchain thing. Exactly. And they all work together to check transactions, add new blocks to the chain. So to mess with it, you'd have to hack like half the planet. Pretty much impossible on a big established blockchain. Okay, so super secure. But what about the other stuff the source mentioned, transparency and efficiency? Mm -hmm. How does that actually work? Good point. So take transparency. Everyone on the network sees the same information, so it's totally open. Wait, so you're saying, like, I could track a t-shirt from the factory to the store? Exactly. Or even, like, coffee beans from the farm to your cup. Wow. Okay, and what about efficiency? How's blockchain faster? Think about, like, sending money internationally now. It takes days, right? With blockchain, you cut out the banks. So it'd be like sending an email instead of... Exactly. Instant and way cheaper. Okay. I'm convinced, but there's got to be downsides, right? No system's perfect. What's the catch? You got to Well, one thing is scalability. Scalability. Like right. as more people use blockchain, things can slow down. Imagine a highway with a million cars all trying to use the same lane. Blockchain rush hour. Basically. Yeah. And then there's the tech side, things like storage and processing power that's still being worked out. So it's still early days. Yeah, definitely work in progress, but the potential's huge. Speaking of potential, let's get into some real world examples. The source talked about supply chain stuff healthcare, what else? All right, so we've talked about blockchain. Like, it could change everything, right? From money to, like, knowing where your food comes from. Exactly. It's about rethinking systems. Okay, so let's get specific. The source mentions supply chains being huge for blockchain. How? So imagine you're buying coffee, right? Yeah. Scan the bag, and bam, you see the whole journey from the farm to the roaster to you. No more mystery me- No more mystery coffee either, I guess. Exactly. Total transparency. Okay. That's cool. What else? Healthcare is another big one. Think about all that personal info and medical records. Yeah. It's kind of scary how vulnerable that data is. Right. With blockchain, those records are secure private. Only the right people can access them. So no more carrying around like a giant file folder every time you go to the doctor. Exactly. It could even help with things like tracking medications, making sure they're not counterfeit. Whoa. That's huge. Right. It's about building trust. Okay. But with all this potential... Where are the roadblocks? What's slowing blockchain down? Well, we talked about scalability. That's still a big one. Right. Too many people using it. Things could get jammed up. Exactly. And then there's the whole education piece. Not everyone gets it yet. Yeah, it's like you need a computer science degree to even understand the basics. Well, it can seem that way, but really it's about getting the word out, showing people how it can benefit them. True. And then what about regulations? Are governments on board with all this? It's a mixed bag. Some are moving faster than others. It's still early days for sure. The Wild West of tech. You could say that, but that's part of what makes it so exciting, right? Totally. So to wrap this up, blockchain 
It's not just for techies anymore. Not at all. It has the potential to change the way we live and interact with the world. It's about transparency, security efficiency, things we all care about. Absolutely. And it's evolving every day. Who knows what new applications we'll see in the next few years. That's the most exciting part. It mm -hmm. feels like we're just scratching the surface of what blockchain can do. Exactly. And that's why it's so important to stay informed. Keep asking questions like you have today. So listeners, do your own deep dive. What problem do you think blockchain could solve? Let us know. We might just feature it on a future episode. Until next time, stay curious.